Hi, I'm Jack Koenig with Graco Industrial Lubrication Equipment, and today I'm going to demonstrate the use of the remote fill manifold that we offer as an accessory to the autofill shutoff valve. The autofill shutoff valve is a device that we use with both the Dynastar pumps and the G3 pumps to allow you to fill a reservoir remotely even when you don't have line of sight with the pump. So this really enables one person to do a job that used to take two people because in the past you'd have to have one person closer to the pump to watch it and sometimes to remove and replace a plug so that you could drain grease from the top when it's full and then you'd have to have another person actually operating the pump. Now one person just needs to operate the fill pump and the rest of it is done by the autofill shutoff valve and the remote fill manifold. To use this, one important thing that's really helpful is a ball valve on your grease line. So this is a hose that goes back to a barrel pump that we have inside of this display case. But this ball valve then controls the flow and pressure coming to this coupler because you wanna make sure that the, the coupler is not pressurized when it's not connected because the way hydraulic couplers work, a pressurized coupler cannot be connected or disconnected. So this right here is keeping the pressure back from our barrel pump right now. The next thing here, we have a dust cap. Dust caps are really important. If you have a fill stud that doesn't have a dust cap on it, you should replace that because cleanliness is really important with grease. People take it for granted because you can't really see contaminants, where if oil gets dirty, you can see it. It's a lot harder to see contamination in grease, but it's really important to keep contamination out. We have a filter on here as well, but the best practice for keeping contamination out of your grease is to not let it get introduced in the first place. Now before we hook up our fill coupler to the fill stud, we want to pull on this red plunger up at the top of the manifold. That vents the pressure from that fill stud so that the coupler can go on and link up. Now that we're coupled on, we're ready to pump. I'm going to turn my pump on and I'm also going to open the ball valve. This one won't take long because this reservoir is almost full. So we're seeing already the pin is starting to come up. Now we can see on our pressure gauge the pressure is rising. The autofill shutoff valve has already closed the flow into the reservoir. All that we're really seeing here is grease pressure compressing the grease in this line. This is just a little two foot line so it doesn't take very long. But on a bigger machine where you have 10 to 20 feet of hose going up on top of the piece of equipment, you might slowly see this pressure rise. But when you see the pressure rise and you hear your barrel pump stop, which we can hear our barrel pump has stopped, we know that it's done filling. So the first thing we want to do is close this ball valve. We don't want to pull the plunger while we still have flow coming in from the pump. And I'm actually going to turn the pump off too, even though it's kind of redundant with having this ball valve here but now it's safe to pull the plunger because it just vents a little bit of pressure back into the bottom of the reservoir. If you pull on this the whole time, or if you pull on this while you have your fill pump on and the reservoir is full, you can potentially damage your reservoir because you're defeating the autofill shutoff valve and putting flow right into the bottom of the reservoir where the valve can't control it anymore. So don't hold it open the whole time and make sure that you've already shut your pump off before you go ahead and pull on the plunger. But now we can see there's no pressure. We can decouple, wipe off the stud. And as I was saying, these dust caps are really important, so make sure you replace that. And that's all that it takes to fill a reservoir with the remote fill manifold. Let's take a little closer look at the side of this manifold and pick up a couple of features about that before we wrap it up. Here from the side of our remote fill manifold, we can see the fill stud attached to the optional filter, the inlet port, which is connected to the outlet port. This is always connected, this path across here, because the inlet port is feeding to the outlet port, and this outlet port is ultimately what gets attached to the autofill shutoff valve. Then at the top is the pressure gauge, which is going to tell you when your reservoir is full, because you'll see the, the pressure spike up on the gauge. At the bottom is a relief valve. If you ever give this thing more than 5,000 PSI, the relief valve is going to open and dump that extra pressure out the bottom. And then up here we have the plunger that controls this vent port. So the V on the vent port, this hose is what you're going to connect to the bottom of your reservoir. 
And anytime you need to vent that pressure that's keeping you from coupling or decoupling, you just pull on this plunger and that's what actually opens the vent path and allows that extra pressure to vent. One other thing I'd like to show you is what happens if you don't vent the pressure off. I'm going to open this ball valve just temporarily to allow a little pressure back in. So we have almost 2000 PSI in here right now. And when I try to pull on the ring on this coupler, it doesn't budge. It's not coming off. There's no way to get that hose off now because that pressure is in there. So now I have my ball valve shut off again and now I'm going to pull my plunger again and now that pressure is vented and now again we can decouple. One other thing you might find is that if you pull this plunger but then don't immediately remove the hose or don't uncouple the fill hose and come back later some pressure may have crept back up because with a longer hose in a normal real world system, grease takes a while to move through here. And so some of the pressure will gradually back down from the autofill shutoff valve back to the manifold. And it's really just through the hose, not the actual valve. That's where it's, then you have to pull the plunger again and decouple. But that's the whole point of the plunger. It allows you to disconnect your hydraulic coupler when you're done filling. And then we just want you to make sure you keep everything clean to protect the equipment that is getting lubricated. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about autofill shutoff valves, remote fill manifolds, Dynastar pumps, G3 pumps, or any other Graco product, please give us a shout. We're always happy to hear from you.